hello everyone welcome to our channel and uh, from this uh, title of this video you guys know what this video is about but i want to talk a couple of other things before we go ahead with this video the first thing is uh, i just want to do two humble requests first first is if we when we go out uh, backcountry roads for service roads uh, and the backcountry itself crown land uh, we should use it we should not ab abuse it uh, pack and pack out that's uh, a promise we should make uh, with ourselves and keep it clean and leave it clean for the other users uh, when we come back and the second one is i just want to request when we go out there uh, we should watch our speed uh, and uh, stay on our side uh, especially along the corners and the steep downhills and uphills uh, that's going to save a lot of hassle uh, for ourselves and uh, to the others and we will be staying safe and keeping others safe uh, if we do uh, this little effort uh, while we are out uh, in the back country and third thing about this video i am not going to give out any campsites or any other nice spots for picnic or anything that's what i am going to leave up to you guys to explore the only information i will be covering in this video is a, a couple of landmarks viewpoints and the kilometers uh, and the turns like where to turn and uh, which way to go uh, those things i will cover will be from mission all the way to the um, Pumbaton and Whistler and uh, let's get to the video uh, enjoy this video sit back and relax and don't stop exploring Once again, we are back on the road, heading towards uh, Harrison uh, West for service road, which will take us all the way to the Pemberton and we have to see like if we can get through. I don't know how the road is going to be like, because last uh, last year the bridge was broken at 55 kilometers, and uh, I heard it has been repaired, but we will check it out when we go today, and then we will go along all the way to Harrison. Uh, um, lake uh, to west then uh, we will go along the Little White River all the way to the Pemberton then Whistler then back to Vancouver and to the Maple Ridge that's our plan is uh, so we just crossed the intersection uh, of um, uh, like in the mission uh, the intersection which intersects uh, Lohid Highway and Highway 11 so I will post I will try to post the distances uh, from that intersection uh, to the Forest Service Road to the turn where we leave the uh, Highway 7 and then uh, we will kind of try to cover all the major st stops along uh, uh, along that Forest Service Road uh, that might help you uh, if you want to go take that route that's a fun route you should definitely do it um, because you know, like it's uh, it's uh, it's another adventurous way to get to the Whistler but you need kind of uh, time and you need to be relaxed and you need a reliable vehicle to go through uh, those back roads. From the intersection of Highway 7 and uh, 11, after about uh, 10 and a half kilometers, there is a flashing red light. You have to turn right from here to stay on the Highway 7 and then you cross railway tracks and then carry on. Okay, folks. You're heading to the Forest Service Road, so your tank has to be full. Even if it is, I had a only quarter tank, which is which was empty, but I filled it up. You never know what you're going to encounter, landslide or whatever. So if you're stuck, you should have enough fuel to survive. After about 34 kilometers, you have to make a left turn from the Sasquatch Cafe. It says Morris Valley Road. That's where you turn left after, after traveling uh, 34 kilometers from the intersection of Highway 7 and Highway 11. Uh, there is a cafe on the right hand side and just about uh, approximately about half a kilometer above there is a stop sign. We will stop there and show you guys uh, which way to go. Right now we are at Morris Valley Road. We just stopped here to show you guys. This is the first stop sign when you leave Highway 7. Uh, on the Morris Valley Road 
Uh, if you make a left from here, then that is Shihela's uh, forest service road. But we are going straight on this road and then we will uh, uh, pass the turn uh, for the Hemlock Valley. We are not going to turn on the Hemlock Valley, we will go straight and then eventually we will reach the Harrison for, uh, for a service road. Okay, after dri driving about uh, 11 or 12 kilometers uh, on uh, Morris Valley Road, uh, then um, actually gravel road starts um, which will take us to, uh, to the uh, Harrison Lake and we will drive along the Harrison Lake so now we are on the gravel road and we will follow it through all the way to the end of the Harrison Lake and then we will go along the Lelwood River let's see how it goes road looks pretty good as compared to the last time let's see if it is the same all the way up After driving about uh, six kilometers on uh, for the service road, you got a view of uh, lake straight ahead and uh, snow peaked mountain in the background. We are about 10 kilometer in on the for service road, the Harrison West. Uh, you can see there is a car going ahead of us and even my last trip uh, I also had a car going ahead of me. I'm not sure how far they can go but uh, I always uh, um, came across a couple of cars every trip when I come up here. Harrison West has uh, less lake views when we are driving on the forest service road as compared to Harrison East for a service road. Okay, now after about 23 kilometers, there is a sign for 23 kilometer uh, on this for a service road. Uh, then you get a view of uh, mountains and there is a lake at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if uh, it's much visible, but from here you start to get little bit of uh, views at about uh, 28 kilometer on to the Harrison West again there is a wide open uh, viewpoint uh, which is very beautiful um, still it is dense forest we just get to some points where where we get uh, the views and views are pretty good um, but it's not that where you can um, have a picnic or something you have to keep moving here is another viewpoint uh, at 31 kilometer and uh, this is a little better one and even you can uh, see an island in uh, in the Harrison Lake it's it's beautiful around at uh, 42 kilometer again there is a beautiful viewpoint you can pull to the side almost 180 view after this viewpoint our road again turns into the forest and then we go through the dense forest again uh, for a couple of kilometers This is very interesting for a service road with a couple of bridges uh, and uh, the creeks going under them and then uh, uh, you have to drive through washouts and all that like it's it's interesting uh, road trip um, 
but you know like i will always say like doesn't matter how easy it is we should be kind of always prepared that we should have our emergency equipment extra gas spare tire and if possible um, any communication device like in reach or something like most people when we travel on those for a serv service road everyone who shares road with us they are very helpful they will stop by and ask for the help but uh, we should have uh, our own personal safety equipment even i would say like it's good to have some extra food like if you're stuck overnight or something then it will be a good idea to have something uh, um, with uh, with yourself so you can uh, you can at least you can eat while you're waiting for uh, for the help close to 54 kilometers again we get uh, another beautiful view today lake looks uh, different you know, like one side has no color and one side looks green I guess it is uh, just because of wind yeah because wind makes it look different from this point onwards uh, the forest service road goes downhill and uh, it reaches almost to the water level on the lake before 55 kilometer bridge pretty close to 55 kilometers uh, we just came uh, almost to the water level yeah that's amazing we are just by the by the lake now and uh, waiting for that bridge which has been broken as you can see the sign is right there the bridge is coming up let's see if we are lucky enough to go through this time last time we had to turn around no road blockage so it looks like the bridge is in yeah right here they built the bridge that's the brand new bridge right here at, at 55 or 56 kilometers in After a bridge it is pretty steep and uh, very loose rocks. I don't think this is for a car. You must have a 4x4 to go up this road because it's uh, it's not plain simple. It is fully rocked, narrow and steep. Do not get fooled by the illusion of this video because uh, this video is recorded by a dash cam. Uh, so the way it is mounted it does not show actual angle how steep it is Okay, folks right now we are at about 58 uh, Sorry 57 something kilometers and uh, After the bridge two kilometers steep up and then now it is steep down and uh, All loose rocks very careful have good tires and uh, Do not speed uh, that will save you a lot so uh, and then beautiful views at the same time when you're driving uh, you have to pay attention to driving but views are amazing as well Yes, this section is a little rough and uh, along the <laughs> edge and uh, the road is very narrow, rocks are very loose but still it's worth it, it's it's real, uh, real fun trip to do but um, drive safe and enjoy the ride. From about 55 km bridge uh, to highway 99 towards Pemberton side, I kept almost all the original video but it has been fast forwarded from uh, 4x to 20x speed.
I believe uh, the the road after after the 55 kilometer bridge that is uh, uh, the most uh, difficult part of this uh, uh, this this whole trip as uh, it is narrow it is bumpy it has loose rocks and uh, but now now where we are going it's better look at this beautiful country I believe we are very fortunate that we can use and we can visit, we can explore, we can do adventures in this back country year round whenever we want. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, year round, no restrictions. So it comes with a responsibility as well. We have to keep it clean, we have to keep it safe. It's very simple to do it. Just pack in, pack out and when you're driving, watch your speed, stay on your side and watch for the logging trucks as well because they have the right of way there. And second thing, we want to explore this country for years and years and years to come. So if we do our part, then we can explore this for decades ahead. That's I always that's what I always feel when I go out and visit those amazing places. Those beautiful mountains with the snow peaks, they are part of, part of the Garibaldi Park. Beautiful views and actually we are on the back side of that park. The Highway 99 is just on the other side of those mountains and we are just going through the back roads uh, uh, from the other end. So that's why we we got a chance to have a look at those beautiful mountains from uh, from different angle now from here logging camp is not too far that logging camp is just at the western end of the harrison lake and it is just at the water level last time i came here i had to drive through uh, the over flooded lake but this time I believe uh, it should be a little better here is the end of uh, Harrison Lake that's where it ends on the west side so we drove about 72 kilometers and uh, that is the end which you can see right here that is the end of the lake Okay, at the end of the Forest Service Road, uh, this logging camp and uh, I was worried about this stretch that can I get through this because last time we had to drive through the water. This time they maintained it well and we will drive through the logging camp and uh, look at the water, water is just up to the corner here. Look at this huge logging camp we are driving through and uh, now we will make it to the Whistler uh, through this road. Uh, that's amazing. I'm glad that we came today because weather is good and uh, road was clear so that's amazing. After we cross the logging camp then now uh, we cross uh, two small bridges as well. Now we are waiting for the right turn um, to cross uh, Lelawat River. That stretch is also very beautiful but it also go along a very fast moving river. So there is zero chance you can take in your driving. After the long camp, keep an eye on your right and do not miss that turn which goes over the bridge. It's not as difficult to find it, but you, you just have to look for that turn, which is just coming ahead. Uh, you can see that it will be uh, very obvious, but still uh, sometimes you have to just double check like you are not missing it. This one is coming up. Here we are at uh, 85 kilometers from the starting of this water service road. 
and uh, now we are on the Lillard side and coming up if you look ahead that is a turn where you make a right you can say it's between 85 and uh, 86 kilometers and once we once we make a right on this one then we go across uh, the Lelouet River uh, which falls into the Harrison Lake but uh, we will go along the river opposite to the flow of water and then that will take us to Highway 99. This is a beautiful river crossing but I was so lazy to stop and get out of the river and make some video but still we got some clips and uh, it's a huge river and uh, we drove along it for many kilometers Okay, folks, after crossing the river, we are going to make a left here. Uh, there is only one option to go left, and then we are going to go follow this river along all the way to the Pemberton. After crossing Lalwit River, we drove uh, in the opposite direction uh, uh, to the water, and then uh, it was it is a long drive along. Uh, the Lalouette River, then we reach uh, Lalouette Lake. It's a dusty road, yeah, obviously, it's a forest service road. The dust is um, expected, actually, that is the only thing we can encounter when we are doing uh, the forest service roads. So, <laughs> uh, there's nothing special about it. Uh, but this road goes right along the um, along water on the left hand side. I'm just kind of fast forwarding this video, but along the left hand side most of the time it is going uh, uh, along the gushing water uh, there is only there are only trees as a barrier between the road and the river uh, and other thing is when we get pretty close to the uh, Lalouette Lake at that point uh, there is no barrier between uh, the forest service road and the water it is just kind of a straight edge and I believe uh, it's right straight deep water uh, at this point like it is coming up when uh, you look at the left hand side uh, it's it's beautiful it's it's kind of a uh, those views are breathtaking and those viewers views are ever changing light change view change so it's amazing but uh, unfortunately there is no spot where we can stop it's too dangerous to spot in this section because uh, there is a rock fall hazard uh, on the right hand side on the on the left hand side as you can see they are waiting for us so we can go by and then they move on look at this it is just along the edge and straight deep water so uh, that is the only caution note i want to give that be careful in this uh, in this section and drive carefully because there is nothing important more important than uh, staying safe look at this view like my dash cam uh, is not doing justice uh, with this uh, with this landscape it's it's much more beautiful and much more colorful than this dusty view but uh, on that specific day it was uh, a lot of dust and uh, um, the the light was not good enough, but still I guess it is okay, but you can see how narrow and uh, How close we are to the edge almost a single vehicle traffic um, so you have to uh, be very careful when navigating navigating the, through this this stretch of uh, the forest service road Look at this how beautiful it is and uh, now we are not too far from uh, at the junction of 5 in 99 and this forest service road before we reach there i want to talk few things that um, when i was dreaming of, about exploring uh, uh, this amazing country then you other youtubers helped me a lot and then that led me to make my own videos because uh, I created that content which I was looking for but I could not find and now I am creating that so I started exploring in British Columbia and ended up 
uh, driving all the way up to the Arctic Ocean and there is a video which is about my complete trip from Maple Ridge, British Columbia all the way to the Arctic Ocean in Northwest Territories, northern edge of the earth. So you can check those video videos out and if you like my this effort then please do not forget to subscribe. That keeps me motivated. So now we are almost uh, at the junction of uh, this Forest Service Road and, uh, and Highway 99. We are here at the Highway 99. We made it through, uh, through the Forest Service Road all the way from Harrison to the Highway 99. Uh, Pemberton is about 20 kilometers from here as far as I know. We will see um, how far it is. Uh, and uh, that was our goal uh, to get here um, completely via Forest Service Road and uh, that's the other way to get to the Whistler but you need to be really um, adventurous to do this and uh, yeah we are going to be having our dinner in uh, Whistler and then we will go home see you in the next video have a good one guys